<clears throat> don't do that back. Okay. I'm back, y'all, with another video. Mm. I'm on the road. Like, I'm just, for real, y'all. Now that I have my own place and I have a nice, perfect setup to record videos and, you know, I can use, you know, natural sunlight. I'm right in front of the window. It's just so much fun to record videos now. Like, I really enjoy it. Whereas, you know, being with my parents and all that stuff and um, <clears throat> all before with school and, and, um, and, um, yeah, and school and all that stuff, having to do schoolwork and write papers and all that crap, it just got in the way and it got on my nerves and it just, like, I just couldn't do it and really enjoy it, you know what I mean? But now, there's nothing in the way. So, this video, as you can already tell, is my top five favorite, obsessed, my top five, like, favorite, 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 favorite perfumes. Let me adjust my hair because it's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. But yeah, top five favorite perfumes. Here we go. Starting at, I guess I'll start at number five and you don't know, work my way up to the one. But, um, uh, let's see. Let's see. So, number, coming in at number five, and it is the Givenchy Anjou ou Demain perfume. Perfume, and um, this one is like the nighttime version, I think, because the one she has is like a lighter bottle and all that stuff. Um, and this is like the really dark, like purplish one. And um, I took French, unlike them, I took French in high school and um, middle school, so I know how this is pronounced, and it's pronounced. Let me say it one more time <laughs> Anjou ou Demain from Givenchy. Okay, and it is everything. Okay, this perfume is like, mm, it's so good. Like, oh my god, this perfume is so freaking amazing. It's so juicy and um, uh, like extremely. Like fruity slash, you can you get that hint of um because there's tea in this. It's like um some kind of tea, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't know how to describe that, but yeah, there's tea in this or whatever. Oh my god, it's everything. Like it's like a juicy fruity tea. Like, but it's so sexy. It's so freaking sexy, and I understand why this is a night scent. It's so like sexy. Um, I like I. Ooh. That's why this is in my top five because it's this perfume is everything. Do you hear me? Everything. And um I will tell you where I got this from at the end of the video because um that's kind of like that's that's <laughs> that's something that I want to share with y'all so that y'all can get your hands on some really nice perfume for the low low for you know for good prices basically is what I'm saying. This piece of hair tickle of my arm sorry but yeah so I freaking love this perfume um I can't remember how much I paid for it, it wasn't that it, it was like um 50 something and this is the three point this is the 3.3 .3 fluid ounces and this is an eau de parfum um intense okay so um yeah it was like 50 something dollars 50 50 something dollars so it wasn't that, it wasn't really bad. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Cop this. Okay. Coming in at number four. And I'm telling you that this perfume is everything, baby. This perfume is it, y'all. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I know I'm being like a lot right now in this video, but it's only because, like I told you, I'm obsessed with perfume, and these perfumes, my top five, <laughs> baby, they deserve all of this animatedness that I'm giving y'all right now. They deserve it. Like, you already know what this is. I'm pretty sure you've seen it, like, time and time and time again. This is Prada Candy. Mmm. I just cannot even begin to explain 
the luxuriousness of Prada candy. The, or maybe I should say luxury. Instead of say luxuriousness. I don't know, whatever. This perfume is everything, y'all. Like, oh my God, it's everything. Do you hear me? Like, I love it. First of all, can we just talk about the packaging? Let's just talk about the packaging alone. The packaging alone is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this little pink band around the top. And then the the letters of, you know, the Prada little logo is like this gold. I don't know what to call it. But like it's, oh my goodness, it's so freaking beautiful. This is a beautiful bottle. Like I love the cap. You just press it down and it comes out like, oh my God. And it smells a freaking amazing. A freaking amazing. Of course, because it's called candy, it's like extremely sweet. Like it's really sweet. But this is the thing. It's not like Britney Spears Fantasy Sweet or like Aqualina Pink Sugar Sweet. It's this is like grown-up sweet. Do you hear me? This is like um what what Britney Spears Fantasy and um Aqualina Pink Sugar wants to be when it grows up sweet okay um can we please get some snaps for that analogy yes ma'am this right here is grown woman a grown woman kind of sweet so you want to smell sweet but at the same time you want to smell like you are sophisticated and you are a grown woman handling your business this is what you get i freaking love this perfume do you hear me it's everything it's everything thing baby yes everything love it and this um now this one i'm not even gonna lie this one was a little bit ex more expensive this one was like 70 bucks i think it was like no it was like almost 70 bucks wasn't it I think it was like almost 70 bucks or like right at 70 bucks and this is the 1.7 fluid ounce Eau de Parfum. Um, the reason why I get like, most of my, I do have a few like full size, you know, 3.4 fluid ounces. But the reason why I like a lot of my perfumes are like, um, excuse me, there's a little thing, neck thing. Sorry. <laughs> but the reason why I get like a while, you're, you will see that it's like a lot of these are like 1.7 fluid ounces. And it's because I have 28 bottles of perfume, 28. There's no kind of like, there's no real reason, like there's no reason for me to get a bunch of full size bottles when I have so much, you know, like I, I'm not, like I'm not going to run through these. I have 28 bottles, like I don't know how I'm even get to all of them. I will. I'm not even going to sit here like I'm going to get to all of them because I love them all. But um, yeah, that's why I get 1.7 ounce. It's no, it's no reason for me to get the full size of all of them, like because there's so many of them. So yeah, anyway, I absolutely love this. That's why it ranks at number Four. definitely had to make top five definitely can we just admire this bottle again i mean come on the liquid is a golden color come on that is that's luxury do you hear me that is luxury this is like oh moving right along now this next perfume y'all already saw it in my favorites however i gotta talk about it again it is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Perfume. Y'all, there is a reason why this perfume got all the hype that it got. Um, and it's because it's everything. This perfume is everything. And I'm telling you, if you like floral scents, you will freaking love this perfume. It is... Uh, This is like, this is like the ultimate floral perfume. This is the ultimate floral perfume. It is so, it's so everything. It's so beautiful. Like, it's everything. Like, and then once again, can we talk about the packaging? How freaking adorable is that? Do you see this? Like the little flowers or whatever? Of the cap, I mean, that alone, you know what I mean? And then the shape of the bottle is just so freaking cute. Like, this packaging is everything, 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 okay? And then the perfume, I'm sold. I was sold, I was sold when I smelled it, sold. It's, um, 
like I said, very floral, very, very floral, but it's not that annoying floral where it's like old ladyish and like just like sickening. You know what I mean? Because some floral perfumes can be like, oh God, like that's too much. This is not. And the reason why is because there's a hint of like um, fruit in this. There's a hint of of something that's making it a little bit sweet and kind of like um, sweet and a, teen, a teeny bit like kind of fruit, fruity. It's not at all fruity, but there is a hint of like a fruit note or and sweet notes. But there's a hint of like a fruit note and like a sweet note to it and it balances out the the uh floral notes so beautifully oh i love it i freaking love it and it's so long lasting every perfume up here that i'm about to mention that I'm, i've mentioned and about to mention lasts all day oh because i i'm not gonna pay a lot of money for a perfume and then it doesn't last i'm we're not doing that i'm not doing that that's what i'm not gonna do okay and this was, um, want to say it was right at 50 bucks. Like, if not, like, right at 50 bucks, it was, like, 52-ish, 54, something like that. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. Yeah, you need to cop that if you like floral scents. Okay. This next perfume coming in at number two. Two. It's one that everybody already has. Everybody already knows about everybody loves and can you blame them need i say more viva la juicy juicy couture viva la juicy let me say something for everybody who says that this perfume is um very juvenile um not 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 very sophisticated not very grown up not very um complex as far as the ingredients and as far as the smell um for everyone who has written it off or has something to say about it let me say this this perfume is not in every practically everyone's collection for no reason let's be real if everybody has this perfume if this perfume is is completely just has blown up and it is everywhere and um the the, the two women the makers of juicy couture, the 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 owners or whatever of juicy couture if they have come like they done they done they done like got paid they are getting paid based on this perfume alone that tells you something so i don't even i'm not even trying to hear that crap about it's juvenile and it's not and it's it's not to be taken seriously i'm not even trying to hear it obviously if everybody has this perfume it's something to be said about it and i'm about to say it okay this perfume is the business the freaking business it's everything you need it in your life let me tell you something there is probably only like a handful of people who don't like this perfume. It is so agreeable. It is so non-offensive. It is so pretty. It is so feminine. It is so just amazing. Just amazing. This perfume is so amazing. Like I like like they're brilliant. Do you hear me? Those two women, I forget their names. I honestly forgot their names. But the owners of Juicy Couture, like they are brilliant for this for this perfume i mean like for real first of all the packaging is everything is everything by itself the packaging by itself is everything and then when you actually like the perfume is so like it's it's brilliant like this is genius this is genius sheer genius it smells so freaking amazing it is very um it's light it's not heavy it's not a sh very strong scent it's not a very warm it's very light it's um teeny bit fruity just a teeny bit just a little bit fruity um definitely got a nice a very nice sweet note to it um it, it's it's just everything like a little bit of fruity light kind of fresh um sweet just but the thing I love about it, it's not like overpowering, overpoweringly sweet. It's not just like overwhelmingly sweet. The sweet balances out that kind of like fruity, fresh, 
um, note, those notes. Um, it, it just is genius. It is sheer genius. It is brilliant. This is a brilliant, beautiful perfume. And I feel like young or old, everybody needs this in their perfume collection. Like everyone is everything. Okay. I forgot to say, I paid like, um, I pay actually for this. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce. And you are you guys already know that Viva La Juicy is an eau de toilette, right? No, I'm sorry. Viva La Juicy is an eau de parfum. Eau de parfum. And um, I paid um, only 25 bucks for this for this bottle. And this is the 1.7 uh, fluid ounce bottle. And I only paid 25 bucks. And I'll tell you why, like I said, at the end of the video. But, um, and I've already, I'm going to show you this too. I've already been through, um... This is my second bottle right here. This is my second bottle because I've already ran through one. Here it is. I ran, like, I use this thing so much, the daggone, like, the the freaking um, little thing, the terriers fell off. The little thing, you know what I'm trying to say, fell off. Like, do you see that? Yeah, I'm, this is one that I need to keep stocked up. Do you hear me? I even have the rollerball of this. Like, this is everything. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And then, last but certainly not least, and you guys have seen this perfume before. I, I showed it to you when I bought it. Um, I hauled it, and it is still, to this day, my top number one fragrance. But my number one, number one, top number one fragrance. And when I say top number one, I mean I am going to be wearing this perfume on my wedding day. Okay? And that should tell you something. This is going to be my wedding day perfume, and it is the Vera Wayne Princess perfume. Y'all, I and there are some people who might who criticize this one too and say that it's juvenile and that it um it lacks complex complexity. Again, this is another perfume that's that everyone has in their collection. I mean, you look up perfume collection videos here on YouTube, and this is pretty much an everyone's. This everybody and their mother. And their grandmother has this perfume. This perfume is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's so, like, oh my god. The packaging is beautiful, gorgeous. Look at that. That is gorgeous. The smell of it is just... And the thing about I don't even understand how you can say it lacks complexity. It's so complex. Like, it's sweet, and then it's a little bit warm. Um... It's just, oh my god, I mean, I don't even, uh, it's, oh god, it's so amazing. It's so beautiful. It's, it, I can't, I can even, I, I can't even really describe the scent because it's so complex. I feel like this, this perfume is so complex, like you can't, there's more to, there's so much more to it than just to say it's a sweet perfume or to say that it's a, like it, it's a warm perfume. Like it, it's so. There's so much more to this perfume. It's so um. It's it has a very um creamy. It's it's very creamy. Um. It's just. And then there, something in me wants to say, there's it's a little bit fresh too. Like. I don't know, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Like, I mean, God, I love this perfume. So, like I said, this is my top, top number one fragrance. This is going to be my wedding fragrance. Um, it's because it's just, it's everything. Like, it's everything, for real. And I have this in the one fluid ounce. And this is in an eau de toilette. Um, Vera Wang Princess is made only in Eau de Toilette. It's not made in Eau de Parfum. So, yeah, uh, get your hands on this. If you like sweet scents, if you like um, warm scents, um, creamy, then you need to, you definitely need to have this. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful perfume.